Hello everyone. Thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And please do not forget to click on the like button. A tragedy just happened. A Nigerian medical doctor has just died following a serious accident. The accident involving his Lexus SUV occurred on Friday morning, February 12th, along Port Harcourt Aba Expressway. And details of the accident are not yet being revealed. However, it was gathered that he was trying to avoid hitting a pedestrian when his car veered off the road and then crashed. The disease who worked at Esut Teaching Hospital in Enugu is reportedly the only son of his father. This is even more heartbreaking and you can see that this accident is a horrible one and come to hear this it will even shock you more. Dr. Ifudu and Judith Ogechuku's traditional wedding was scheduled for Tuesday, April 6, 2021 in Umahia, South Local Government Area of Abia State and the church wedding on Saturday, April 10th at Holy Catholic Church independently out in Enugu State. Isn't this more heartbreaking? It's so sad to hear that someone just few days, few weeks to their wedding, they've passed away. And it's just usually motor accidents. If you could recall, I just posted a video like few days back. A guy, just his own is even, he was supposed to wed on Saturday and on Friday he had an accident and died. Look at another one again, the military guy. That's the Air Force soldier man who just died on saturday and right now he was meant to wed next week and look at now the guy just passed away and look at this medical doctor who is meant to wed in april traditional wedding church wedding everything has been set you can see that is wedding invitation but now this guy is not alive to witness his own wedding anymore heartbreaking for his wife to be and for his immediate family and it's worse right now because this is the only son of his own father you can imagine how heartbreaking the entire family would be right now and those are some of the tributes his friends had to go and pay tribute to him because this is really really painful someone who is healthy and strong and then getting involved in a ghastly motor accident like this his friend wrote this what a cruel world we're living in how can someone's wedding card be used to trace his remains after soul departure in a ghastly motor accident brother has died and it's hard to believe even though it's hard to accept we can only say goodbye with prayers for god knows it all May God give your dad, siblings, and other relations the fortitude to bear this irreplaceable loss. Our thought is with them. It's hard to take, but blessed be the name of God on those who have faith in him. For he who have high faith and trust in God would always find comfort through the words of God that sedates our emotional worries and pains in the challenges that life brings to us. God is hope. For us, the fortunate fast livers, the earlier we begin to have a deep thought on our lives with respect to death, the better for everyone. There are may the Almighty in his unreserved mercy and means in which you departed the mother earth, grant you a peaceful repose and give you a place of rest amen this is a tribute that was posted by his own friend daniel okechuku 
you can see that this accident wasn't a small one look at how the car squeezed you wouldn't expect anybody to survive out of this kind of an accident the car is badly damaged and is even like it was smashed with a crane wow and it's so sad that it was his wedding invitation card that was in his car that they had to use to trace him after they found his corpse so what if the wedding invitation wasn't there or he didn't have any of his cards how would they have traced him it's so painful that this guy young man you can see this guy is a very young guy and he has just passed away wow so sad to see something like this happening to people that's why you say we can never tell when and how it will happen for everybody all we do is we keep praying and asking god for his protection and guidance and we keep praying every day that god should help us to live right to think right and to act right because we can all be taken on our way only for people that are in critical conditions in the hospital and they've been giving their life spam some people have been told they can't live longer than a particular period of time then those are the people that they know that they are not going to live anymore and they now make it right with god even while in their sick bed some people do though but then when you don't know anything you're not aware of anything you're healthy you're just moving it's not a guarantee it's only by the grace of god that we that are alive are still alive we're not alive because we're any better no we are not better than those that have passed away so that's why we should appreciate each day we see ourselves alive we should give thanks to almighty god when you go on a journey and come back you should have every cause to thank god it only takes the grace of god that you would embark on a long journey and then you still come back healthy and strong and alive it's painful seeing people that pass away like this it's so heartbreaking no one i'm sure even his own family nobody expected that they wouldn't get to see this guy anymore nobody would have even thought of it may the soul of doctor if you do rest in perfect peace with the lord may almighty god console his parents his siblings his entire family friends and well-wishers and every other person that got to know him this is so heartbreaking for his parents right now you can imagine the only son in the family a medical doctor just passed away he wasn't sick nothing got involved in a ghastly motor accident and then that was the end of this guy seeing things like this it can be very scary but at the same time all we do is to place ourselves in the hands of god almighty knowing that we can't predict the future we don't even do the next minute some people you see them right now you just make a u-turn the person is gone either a car will knock the person down or the person will just say headache and fall down some people are like that some will just say my stomach is hurting me and that is it they just go from there some people just slump and they, they are no more they don't come back again some they sleep up and they don't wake up anymore these are tragedies that happen in life and these are things that happen in life that are inevitable you can't avoid them there are things that just come unexpectedly there are unforeseen circumstances unforeseen happenings that are very heartbreaking and devastating i pray that god will keep on protecting each and every one of us let's all hope and put our faith and trust in god for his own protection upon our lives when you step out of your house before you even step out commit your life into the hands of almighty god and once you come back no it's not by your power it's not because you're an expert driver it's not because you see clearly no it's the grace of god that has brought you back home you have every cause to say thank you god you have every cause to thank god who has brought you back home safely or your friends and family that have traveled and they are back home you all need to give thanks to god because it is only the grace of god that made you alive and made you come back home safely friends this is a very tragic event that has happened and i pray that the almighty god in his great intervention would console his family it's such a great pain friends what do you have to say about this whatever you have to say please put that down at the comment section 
it's a heartbreaking story and it's not something that anyone would rejoice over may god keep protecting each and every one of us thank you all for coming up today please for those that have not subscribed click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video please don't forget to hit the like button friends i'm here today to talk about how to start up a new youtube channel so for those that are looking to start up a new youtube channel probably you've been trying to figure out how to go about it or you have been trying to see what it entails or what you need to start that's why i'm here today to give you the easy way for you to get this done not just the easy but the best method and also to give you or to talk about the best teacher who will give you all that it's required for you to start up your own youtube channel this is a teacher he is really successful with his youtube and he has been a teacher for so long now teacher is matt pa he's going to give you a step-by-step -step method on how to start up your own youtube channel no stone unturned every step of the way he's going to lead you through it you have links that you can actually reach out to him and communicate with him directly that's mad part there you can see the huge successes he has made in youtube you can see his silver you can see the gold you can also see his revenue that he's actually making on YouTube, which is very huge. He is going to give you a YouTube step-by-step -step tube mastery class. Every step of the way from the beginning of the opening of the channel to how you can start up and put up your videos. He is leaving no stone unturned, like I said. So for those that are seeking for how to start up their own YouTube channel, this is the easiest and the fastest way for you to have access to this particular teacher who is honest and straightforward and you will enjoy every bit of the class and you will have lots of gain. At the end of your class, you will have lots to hold on to and to start up your own YouTube channel. It's going to be like an ABC class starting from the scratch. So please, for those of you that are interested in starting up your own YouTube channel, Matt Pa, he is the teacher and you will have direct access to him. I'm dropping the link below so please you just click on that link and you will have access to math pass class he is going to give you the whole content of youtube and all that it takes for you to be successful in youtube and how to start youtube from the scratch like i said and i'm going to repeat he's leaving no stone unturned and it's so interesting that if you have any kind of complaint, no matter the time you have this complaint or you are confused about anything, you can communicate directly to him and he will give you a response as soon as he gets your question or as soon as he gets your mail or anything you're trying to confirm from him. He is quick at responding and he will give you the right answers and even if you go elsewhere to search you find out that what he is saying is actually true he wouldn't mislead you so please for those of you that want to start your own youtube channel from the scratch and see how you can be successful on youtube please go to this link click on the link below 
so you have access to the teacher that's the teacher there you can see and see his success you can go through that and then you click on the link so that you can have direct access to Matt pa himself this teacher you will enjoy and enjoy every bit of the classes that he is going to give to you so friends do not forget to click the link below so you have access to math pass to mastery class and he will give you the best teaching for you to you will really need to start your own channel friends thank you for coming up today please for those that have not subscribed click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video thank you once again and god bless you all